gentlemen, we now come to a musical interlude considered by many to be the high spot of our entertainment. <laughs> from her world tour, London, Paris, New York, the Goldfield sweetheart, your own golden girl, Miss Sarah Simmons. Come now, all you jolly sailor men, and listen to my tale. When you hear it, you will surely pity me. I was such a silly fool in the port of Liverpool on my first voyage home across the sea. Oh, Maggie, Maggie May, they have taken you away to slavery on Van Diemen's cruel shores. And so guilty they then found her for robbing a homeward bounder And they paid her passage out to Botany Bay Now well do I remember when I first met Maggie May She was cruising up and down old Canning Place Oh, she wore a figure fine, like a ship upon the line And since I was a sailor I gave chase You in charge, Lieutenant Keel. Travels goods. Ah, the actor. Actor manager. Of course. What can I do for you? There's a reward offered for the American, Joe Brady. That's right. Or for information leading to his capture. Why? You can't beat a Goldfields audience. Looks like we're in the wrong business. If you say we go bankrupt. Oh. And now, a brand new song from America. Don't you cry, oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Come on! Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I had a dream the other night when everything was still. I thought I saw Susanna a-coming down the hill. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. 
Won't you try for me? I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Come on, everyone. Oh, Susan. Hey, don't you cry for me. I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. The buckwheat cake was in her mouth. The tear was in her eye. Good I I'm coming from the south. Was that two kisses? No, one kiss my signature. Susan. Recognize the clothes, huh? And the joke. <laughs> Will you be staying long, or does that depend on the police? Kinda. But I aim to see the show. And afterwards, maybe we can talk. Old times, you know? Love to, Joe. But uh, I'll have to get rid of Travis. You know how funny it gets. Sure. Say, you're not, um... Strictly business, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we'll tell him to go walk about. Diplomatically, Joe. I have to work with him. Sure. Sarah, hearing you sing tonight is, well, you know what it means to me. It brings like a lot of old memories. Uh, <clears throat> is this a salon privé or is anyone invited? Uh, Trevor's, you remember Joe Brady, California? Vaguely. How do you do? Seen better days, I should think. And better actors. How can you say that after seeing his performance last night? I missed it. I got here too late. Then tonight you will have a rare opportunity of enjoying a little culture. And my luck couldn't hold. Do you ever use that thing, or is it merely worn to frighten people? I was going to ask you the same thing about your head. Oh, Travis, you're public. Joe, what happened to diplomacy? Sorry, but that guy gets under my skin. He's never forgiven you for Los Angeles. You really should see him perform. It's really very good. One way he's going to murder it tonight. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, tonight, my colleague, Mr. Charles Owen. <laughs> Mr. Charles Owen and myself. Will present for your entertainment and edification an excerpt from one of the great tragedies of the English theatre, Mr. William Shakespeare's Hamlet. Mr. Owen, in his own inimitable manner, will give us his first clown. I, of course, will give you my Prince of Denmark, <laughs> who, after countless adventures, returns to his native land. Imagine, imagine if you will, behind us, high on a windswept peak, <laughs> stands Elsinore Castle. <clears throat> Here, an ancient graveyard, and this, a freshly turned grave. Freshly turned. <laughs> Prince Hamlet approaches the artisan at his labors. <laughs> How long hast thou been a grave maker? Since I struck gold in the churchyard. <laughs> How long hast thou been a grave maker? Of all the days in the year, 
It was that day our last King Hamlet overcame fortune bars. And how long is that since? Cannot you tell that? Every fool can tell that. Even the troopers! <laughs> <laughs> it was the very day young Hamlet was born. Hamlet is mad and sent into England. Best place for him. <laughs> I marry. Why was he sent into England? Why? Because he was mad. Spagging like a true Irishman. <laughs> This skull, sir. I thought it was a foot. <laughs> that chuck it out, there might be gold in them too. <laughs> this skull has lain in the earth three and twenty years. Whose was it? Some mum skull. <laughs> <laughs> this same skull, sir, was Yorick's skull. The king's jester. Well, the joke's on him. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. A fellow of infinite jest and most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on his back a thousand times. And now, how abhorred in my imagination it is. My gorge rises at it. Your what? <laughs> Lieutenant, come quickly. The day comes in from somewhere. Start their song all anew. And my heart sings along, taking hope from their song, starting each day with a dream. That my hope will come true. When starlight fades, the day comes in from somewhere, and I. You get the horses. We'll laugh and sing and dance together. Live this life of chance together. Making each moment a precious one. Everyone spent in the dark. I think that's enough for now. Good day. Uh, may I come in? There's no charge. I'm Jessica Johnson. Sarah Simmons. Lovers Lewis. Ah, the actor. Actor manager. Uh, what can we do for you? Uh, not leaving. You said we don't owe money. We don't. No, I'm not here on business. It's a uh, religion, that is. Always someone wants to lecture on the evils of the stage. <laughs> well, I think it must be quite wonderful to be on the stage. You do? Well, if it's not brass or the Bible, what... I realise you don't know me, but I know you by reputation. I'd like to give you my side of the story sometime. <laughs> well, I realise this is most unusual from a complete stranger, but I wondered if you'd care to visit for a day or so at my place. You mean somewhere with a roof, real windows and a bed? No sermons, no lectures. You're on. Well, we don't have to be in Ballarat for a week. Oh, dear. I I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis. I don't seem to have made myself clear. <laughs> I'd dearly love to invite you, too, but uh, I'm a widow living alone. My reputation, you understand? Well, you go if you like. Don't mind me. Oh, uh, Travis, I'm thirsty. Get me some milk, will you? You know milk's no good for your throat. Nor's arguing. You? Uh, nothing, thanks. What's all this business? It concerns a mutual friend. Oh, 
Beautiful. Glad you like it. Terrific. A few songs like that on Sunday, we'll have no trouble. As long as we can get Keo and everyone there in the first place. A charity concert? We'll shame them into it. <sighs> it's good of you to risk it. If Keo ever suspected... I'd do anything for Joe. He's a sweet man. You know, when Susan first brought him home, I really wondered what she saw in him. But... Susan? My wife, Sarah's sister. Wife? Married nine years ago in New York City. Remember that day, Sarah? Do I? They sang a duet at the reception. Susie had a fine voice, but she was too shy to sing on her own with, with Sarah beside her. You know something? Susan and Sarah are like two peas in the pod. Still makes me feel kind of strange looking at her, but when she sings, it sure brings it all back. The year after we married the Landor Shazan, I figured I'm getting me a spread building a homestead. So we headed west. Two thousand miles we had to go. thought we could make it. We were young and strong, but I didn't figure on the heat, and the dust, and the drought. Horses got tired, and we had to walk most of the way. Had to throw out all, all but the essentials. Remember the old grandfather clock? That was the first to go. Eventually the horses dropped. It was the desert that did it. Sixty miles from California. Oh, we were that near. As soon as we got weak with fever, I ended up carrying my arms. I don't know how far. that I buried her at a fitting name. It was called Desolation. Spread the word.
children. I'm um, pleased to see you gracing our little concert. <laughs> it's one of my favorite charities, Lieutenant. I had to come. It should prove a most rewarding experience. You want in town to be here. So it seems. Six days shall thou labor, the commandment says. All your men here, Lieutenant? Uh, most. Uh, some are needed on duty. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sarah Simmons. criminal and as such... You don't give a damn about that. You just saw her about Los Angeles. Any man would be. Finding a man in his girl's room. Sarah, your girl. I don't think so. You had no right to be there anyway. I had every right. She's my sister-in-law. Nonsense. You forced your way in. You know something? I feel sorry for you. In there. What, what, what was you going to do? You're, you're not going to hurt me. There. Didn't feel a thing, did you? Yea, I walk in death's dark veil, yet will I fear no ill, for thou art with me, and thy rod and stop me comfort. Thy table thou hast furnished in presence of my foes, my head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup overflows. Shoot. I wouldn't make too much noise. Attached to it. Want to make me an offer? All through the construction, good view. Hey, I don't like your neighbors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd now like to sing... <coughs> Charlie? Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood save from rust and make me pure. Should my tears 
Some ideas how to get out of here? You know I work well under pressure. Start working. <laughs> I hope everything goes well. It will. Look after Joe for me. I have to say goodbye for him. Goodbye. And thank you for everything. <laughs>